Name's Jack. Jack Martin. I'm not your average detective. I don't go around a fresh crime scene searching for evidence. Too easy for me. I like a bit of a challenge. Something to get my mind thinking outside the box. Something that stumps the other detectives. That's where I come in. For five years I've worked on the Special Police Task Force overseeing cold cases. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty damn good at my job. With a perfect score of 37 out of 37 cold cases closed, I've made a name for myself across the force that's led to a large list of cold cases waiting for me to solve. And that's where my next case comes in. A string of unsolved murders in what appears to be a serial killer case over the past 60 years. Blunt force trauma to the head and their bodies left in the dead of night until a member of the public stumbles upon them. Well, all but one. One survived at first, but she was quickly committed to a psychological facility after the attack. She was found in an alleyway muttering over and over to herself with just one word. Bucket. Days later, she was found dead in her room, with blunt force trauma to the head, and her body slumped over pages upon pages of scribbled paper with the word bucket. 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 What's so special about that word? <laughs> it was the bucket. <laughs> That's the last time I listened to you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ha 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 